Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I am still here at the LA Auto Show, and of course, we couldn't leave and not stop at the Acura booth because of the electrifying things that are happening, and it's happening with this vehicle here. What is it? It's a 2024 Acura ZDX. This particular one is the A-Spec, but before we get into this combination of a Acura and a General Motors vehicle, let's talk about what's going on here. Acura is on a rampage. They're really bringing that precision crafted performance to their whole lineup. And what's fascinating, everybody was wondering what they were gonna do with electrification. Now we already brought you that top performing ZDX Type S. And if you haven't seen that one, I'll leave it at the end of this review. But now I really want to focus on another trim, the A-Spec and see what it brings. So why don't we go ahead, let's dive into this metallic silver ZDX A-Spec and find out, is it better than the Cadillac Lyric, even though they're kind of similar? Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the color. This fits the body style, shows the crisp lines, and you can see that exterior Acura identity. We have our chicane daytime running lamps. Love the way they do that signature lighting. We have our multi-jewel LED beam headlights. And then working our way down, you are gonna have these sculpted lower corner areas that are functional air curtains. So we have a little bit of gloss black, but nice horizontal bars there to help channel the air. But I really feel like they nailed it when it comes to Acura style. I could see this next to an RDX. I could see it next to an MDX. Now, as we come across the front nose, this is where the challenge is gonna be for a lot of brands to bring their signature styling. And I think Acura hit the nail on the head. Look at the way that they did the LED lighting around the lower base of this upper nose area. That gives it that precision crafted performance shape. Even the way they textured just the top. You see those little V's that they have there? Really gives it that movement, that, mo that motion with the massive Acura badge. Working our way down, because this is an Ultium battery powered vehicle, you do have your functional vents to bring cool air, gloss black on the bottom. And as we rise up, you have a nice amount of space between the eight pillars and the front of the nose. The nice tip picks up the rise, goes right towards the windshield. And remember, we're talking about trying to get that coefficient drag to be very, very low. Now, unlike the Type S, where it automatically comes all-wheel drive, the A-Spec, you could have all-wheel drive with two electric motors, or you could have it real-wheel drive with one electric motor. We come around the bend, what are we working with? Wheel and tire setup. So what you're gonna find on this A-Spec is this massive 20-inch wheel. Love the way they design. It almost looks like the Acura logo as the design of the wheel. Gloss black, multi-spoke. You are going to have different levels of regen braking. And then remember that Ultium battery pack is in the belly of this BEV. And when we say BEV, we're talking about a full battery electric vehicle. This is the first electric vehicle that has an Acura badge on it. Nice large brakes. The suspension has been tuned for a little bit sportier driving dynamics. And of course we have the A-Spec badge looking very prominent, just like you would on the other vehicles. I think my, the thing I like is I like the gunmetal metallic gray finish around the fender openings instead of gloss black. That does a really great job. You can see the wheel move a little bit. That was kind of freaky. A little bit of a magic show here. Coming down the side of the vehicle, you do have gloss black on the mirror caps, your LED turn signals. I like the way they did just the bright, shiny metal work only on the top. And as you can see, Acura, Bang and Olsen. This is the first Acura vehicle to have the Bang and Olsen sound system. Premium audio sound system replacing the ELS Studio 3D sound system. This is actually big news because Acura hasn't made that change in many years. Now up top, you do have those low roof rails, which you can get crossbars. You also have a panoramic sunroof up there. And then the color, instead of just making it all body color, I like the way they went with this metallic silver on the lower skirt extension on the doors. Not only is it aerodynamic efficient, but it also gives some nice depth of the styling by showing those different colors. Coming towards the rear, the way that they take that 
bright shiny metal work as a butter knife right into the rear glass. And this is actual glass. This is not all gloss black. Like the way they did the glass coming into the rear of the vehicle, the chicane style taillights, all LED, stubby roof spoiler. But it is, as you can see, gloss black to separate it from the, the rest of the vehicle. The one thing I'm gonna have to zonk is the wiper. I wish they would extend that out and tuck that underneath because the back end is just as good as where we started. So you have your ZDX with the electrification badge, all wheel drive. So like I said, that means we have the two electric motors or you could go single motor, which would make it real wheel drive. And then as we go all the way down to ground level, you can see they kept it very simple, very clean on the lower bumper area. And I like the way that the Acura badge is actually sunk into the back lift gate of this SUV with the A-Spec badge. Nice to see that familiar optioning, where you, whether you could go Type S, whether you could go A-Spec. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the interior and check out this Bang & Olsen sound system. All right, guys, we are inside this 2024 Acura ZDX A-Spec. Remember, we're comparing it to the Cadillac Lyric, and it makes sense because it's basically on the same platform. Now, I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, what about pricing? No official pricing yet, but remember, when we, took, when we look at range, we're looking at over 300 mile range with the single rear wheel drive unit. When we're talking about charging, 10% to 80% in about 15 minutes, which actually is really, really good on a DC fast charger. But let's see what the interior brings to the door panels. I love the nice clean style. So you have real aluminum up top, aluminum style finish. Like to see that in my Acura. The armrest has the red contrast stitching. And then we have that Bang & Olufsen sound system, nice aluminum speaker grill cover. Door pocket is pretty good. You could get a nice size grilled cheese and a small cup of tomato soup to wash it down. Going from the door panel to the dash, love the way they didn't do any gloss black. No gloss black to speak of. The red stitching, nice soft touch material. And then you're gonna get that massive 11 inch infotainment system. And you can see they have it set up where you could actually make the adjustments, relaxed, energetic, warm, bright, to really give you the best tunes, a real volume knob, working your way down your AC vents. We got ventilated seats, heated seats, and your dual climate control. USB-C's, two of them, and a 12 volt. Nice area to put your iPad or your iPhone. Two cup holders, and then you'll notice down below, this is where you'll be able to put your purse, your purse, your sack, your satchel. Hell, you could put a five pound bag of Red Delicious apples down there. And I don't know why they call them Red Delicious, because they're red, they're really not delicious. Every time I eat a Red Delicious apple, they're all mushy. I hate that. What I do like is you have wireless charging, you just drop your phone in there, and then you lift this bad boy up. Look at all the room in there. You could easily put, I would say, 10 Beanie Babies. So if you're saving your Beanie Babies so that you could retire someday, you could keep them in here because you know if your kids get a hold of them, game over. You're going to be working till the day you die. Seats, the leather, the comfort. I love the Alcantara, the stitching, nice bolstering, power assist for the passenger, power assist for the driver, and we got that massive panoramic sunroof, but why don't you come over here to the business end. I want to show you behind the wheel of the ZDX. Business time behind the wheel. The nice thing is you have two memory seat settings. I do like the way you have the A-Spec aluminum sill plate. Down below, you do have an aluminum brake pedal and throttle and a massive dead pedal. I just wish it was aluminum, so I am going to zonk that. But you do have your seat controls, easy to get to. I'm six feet tall, and there's plenty of room in here, just like there is in the Cadillac Lyric. Wink, wink. Steering wheel. The leather all the way around, two-piece leather perforated with the red stitching, the A-Spec badge staring at you. And then you have that ability to do your regen braking and actually brake with the paddle, hence being just like the Cadillac Lyric. And then that dash, super clean. Love all the detailed information about your range, your distance, your speed, all that good info. And then one area I feel like they forgot to put stitching is up top here. What happened? I need some red stitching and I need a HUD, a head up display, no head up display there. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat because I want to show you how much room there is in the ZDX. All right guys, we are inside the back seat. Now what's amazing is, is because this is a BEV, a full battery electric vehicle, you actually have a ton of room back here. 
backs of the seats, the nice leather. Love the way you have these large pockets. You could keep a mirror in here so that your kids can look at themselves. Not to be narcissistic, it's to teach them to love themselves. Because remember, if they can't love themselves, they'll never be able to successfully love somebody else. That's a tip from me to you and your family. Little command center, we do have AC vents, and I'm glad to see that Acura brought their five finger Twinkie tray here. USB-C's, two of them down below. Flat floor means I have tons of room to just chill out in the back seat. Bring down that armrest, semi-soft with the two cup holders. And you got the panoramic sunroof that extends all the way back, but why don't we go ahead, let's get into the cargo area and see what we could stuff into the ZDX. Right, guys, cargo area time. What you're gonna do is, right underneath the Acura badge, hit that button, nice electric assist. Look how low the cargo loading floor is. So that's gonna be easy to get things in and out of the back of your A-spec version of the ZDX. You do have LED lighting, nooks for a perfect size box of Twinkies there. And then on the driver's side, you'll see we have the ability to fold down the seats very easily. You just hit the button and then wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, the seats just flip down. Let's see if this, the front seat might not make it. Ooh, I did it, Lori, I did it, I did it. So you can see just how much room that we have. Underneath here is where you're gonna have extra storage or you could put your charging accessories. Now, what's kind of cool is, is that if your doctor has told you you gotta lay off the snacks, you could put Ruffles back there, you could put Pringles, you could put boxes of Twinkies. Nobody's, nobody's gonna know that they're in there. I love the way you have that usable space down there. Hit the button, what does it do? Brings that down nice and sleek. But let me know what you think. Are you getting more charged up? See what I did there? More charged up about the Acura ZDX, especially this A-Spec trim with the all new Bang & Olufsen sound system? Or are you thinking you're gonna go the GM route with a Cadillac Lyric? Let me know in the comment section, but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rise family. Gotta give it up to Lori, working that camera like the master she is. Thank you for your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.